Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Plants vs. Zombies. Last time, we played around the Wacka Zombie, and unlocked the Grave Buster Hypnos Room, and the Almanac. Which, as I mentioned before, I'm going to be trying and... I'm going to be, there's no try, the only do. Uh, I'm going to be filling out the entirety of the Almanac. This time, we're going to continue through the night and get a little bit closer to finishing World 2. I doubt we're going to finish it this time because these levels are significantly longer than World 1. We've got a, a new enemy here, the football zombie. But I'm just going to roll with some mushrooms. Uh, walnuts, good for this. And I'll bring the cherry bomb. Because from this point, we're just going to be using a lot of the nighttime plants. So let's roll. Let's get things started off the way we always start off. And you may notice, I feel like I say that a lot. I apologize, but I don't really think. They're graves. There's a lot more graves each level. It's going to get progressively more cluttered. Which is why the Grave Buster is so good for nighttime here. Because after this world, it's pretty much not going to be useful ever again. I mean, not necessarily. It'll still have its uses here and there, but... Well, not for a while after we beat this world. It's... It's kind of sad. It's kind of like the complaint hat people have with uh, a lot of Zelda games. Um, where you get a dungeon item and then you never really need to use it after the dungeon it's in. Which, albeit true, is also kind of true with the Grave Buster and a few other plants we'll meet along the way. Uh, but with my goal to complete the almanac we will be seeing more use of the grave buster than on an average playthrough so be ready for that speaking of which there he is man they're just bringing out the zombies today I mean I guess that makes sense doesn't it uh there we don't need fume shrooms in this level. I just like having them because they hit through multiple zombies. And it's kind of like a. Since a lot of the mushrooms. Something I want to bring up. A lot of the plants gotten in this world are 75 sun. So it's kind of like deciding, alright, which one do I want to use and when? Here we have uh, the football zombie. Let me demonstrate the Hypno Shroom because I am not equipped to deal with these guys. They are the heaviest armored zombies. Now, there are zombies that have more health, but health and armor are two separate things, my friend. Keep that in mind. Anyway. Oh, wow, this level's. Sometimes these levels go by so much faster than I realize. I guess I'm just having fun time ranting about whatever. Whether it be game mechanics or what I've been doing recently. Uh, speaking of which, I've been on a few walks around where I live. And there's this squirrel that I keep seeing. Huge. Big, big squirrel. Just always chilling on the same tree branch. Chewing on pine cones. It's always a good day when I get to see that squirrel. I guess I don't know if it's the same squirrel from day to day. Hopefully I can get that grave in time. Uh, but, either way... I'm gonna pretend like it is. Uh, back to the game for a second. Yeah. Anything we've hypnotized will fight for us. 
it's pretty self-explanatory, I guess. Oh, finally. I always forget how long it takes us to get this guy. But let's, uh, let's take out a grave. <sighs> a great and amazing plant this is. The scaredy shroom. Long-range shooter that hides when enemies get near it. For only 25 sun, this thing's amazing. And the downside is not really much of a downside. Let's be honest. So I'm going to bring pretty much everything we've been using this whole time. And walnuts, just in case. Just in case something happens to slip by. And wow, that's a lot of graves. But here, we have the scaredy shroom. Now, I'm not going to plant one down just yet, because I don't believe we need to. I'm instead going to hold off till we have a few more sun shrooms under our belt and can afford to use a 25 for a scaredy. But they essentially work as very cheap pea shooters. Which is going to make them pretty much a staple of the team for the rest of World 2. In fact, I'm going to place one right now. Just let them take care of the business. Now in the bio it mentioned if zombies get close, they will hide. And when they do that, they can't do anything and are just fodder to be eaten. But that, that, uh, but that also includes zombies who are above or below them. This one, in this case, is fine from below because no zombie's ever gonna be down there. Oh, I should have put one here. Well, I can do that now. Yeah, it's all it's all a bit of a juggling act with a lot of plants of similar costs. Want to get a few more sun shrooms down, and that's gonna make dealing with cone heads a bit easier. Huh? <laughs> we got the fun animation on that zombie back there. There's a rare chance they'll kind of like fumble before they fall down. I believe there's also another very rare death animation for them, but I forget what it is. Or if it's even real. I think it has to do with them, like, being in the middle of eating something and dying. But, like I said, I, I, don't, I don't know. No clue. Should probably get some fume shrooms down. I'm probably gonna send in some... Maybe I'll hold off, because they're not... I doubt they're going to send in too many fume shrooms. Just trying to get my main defenses going. Uh, I'm having a bit of a brain fart. Trying to keep the... Trying to keep the talk going. While strategizing, I'll place one down. We got the sun for it. It's going to be quick with two rows, which is why I like doing it so much. It's just super helpful. I'll hold off. I'll hold off. Because I place it down and it appears in a lane where we weren't prepared. Show yourself, screen door. I know you're coming. Oh. There's my clairvoyance again. Predicting the future immediately. Ah, <laughs> it's a, it's always a good feeling when you just happened to guess. Oh, give me that. Uh oh. Let's take care of that. There we go. Bust some more graves. Ah, it's just a relaxing atmosphere. And they are getting through those puff shrooms. They need more fume shrooms. Definitely, def, 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 definitely need more fume. Need more fume shrooms. 
That is an absolute must. Now we're getting 25 for sun. We're laughing. Uh, not a good time for that. Oh, I'm missing my clicks today. I don't know what's going on. It's wild. Alright, that's a good opportunity. Juggling the recharges to be as efficient as possible. Yeah, now we're good. That guy might get eaten. Come on, you can make it. Yes. Good. We got one more grave. Once this guy passes, never mind. Of course, another screen door shows up. I'll be ready. Pass on by. The range for eating is a little strange. Sometimes, it, when you feel like they should be past it, they uh, they still are able to eat the plant sometimes can work in your favor if you don't want them to get past the point but for grave busters you don't want them to be eaten they don't have much health <laughs> oh, excuse me Whew. Uh, different plants have different health of course I mean a lot of them are about the same place that there Give them time for more zombies to show up. And uh, we just sit back and relax. And we'll just let it go. Another another job well done by the mushroom crew. Yeah. Ah. The ice room. That's what this is. This is very a lot of good plants. And, and really a lot of good plants in this game. Temporarily immobilize zombies on the screen. It's a screen nuke that freezes all zombies on it. Um, we'll do something a little different, methinks. I'm going to bring them. I'm going to bring that. Do something a little different. There's no screen doors. Or football zombies, so I don't really feel like I need any of the, like the fume shroom or the hypno shroom, since they're like the, they always tend to give you a zombie that's really good against. Or sorry, they, t nah, you don't, get, you don't get zombies. Uh, they tend to give you a plant that's really good against a new zombie, most of the time. Also, just. Gotta pay attention more. <laughs> about that? Cause I took me way too long to notice there was a zombie there. Uh, t just resting. I, know I could read that one. Oof. Uh, that could have been bad, but I doubt it would have been anything special. guy's gonna get mowed down real fast just, just doing my duties it is it can get a little repetitive at times you know uh, but something about that repetition I just I just can't help but love I know I'm weird uh, just getting everything together before they ruin it. Uh, it's just very relaxing. I'm going to go something a little different this time. Oh, here's our new friend. Oh yeah. It's the disco zombie. We'll summon uh, four backup dancers. They're really not that bad. They don't have any extra health, to my knowledge. The main disco zombie might have more health, but I don't think they do. 
What they want you to do is use the ice room, but trust me, we'll we'll have plenty of chances to show off the ice room. I'm just trying to get more scaredy shrooms down. Because they're really good. Because they can start attacking the zombies. You know that. I don't need to... I don't need to say it. Y'all are smart. I'm just sitting here having a good time. Had a bagel this morning. Man. It was good. Put some cream cheese on it. Now we're talking. Might not get that grave in time. Oh, we did. And uh, let's wait. Wait for him to get on screen. And easy dub. That's another win in the books. And another level down. Let's get the final grave while I'm at it. Ooh. Ah, yes. This is a fun one. This is... I can see why this one doesn't come back in other games, because it's pretty... overpowered. Destroys a large area, leaving a crater in its wake. Instead of... Ex now, normally I'd explain what that means. But I'm a... I'm a the the game do the talking on this one. Hmm. I, I guess Walnut. I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna let the game showcase this plant when we get there. Because trust me, we'll get there. It's, it's spectacular. I'll stop, I, I'll stop hyping it up now, but Yeah. So, um, let me know in the comments something. What is your favorite? type of game. I'm just I'm just curious. Like platformer, RPG, first person shooter. Like let me know. Let me know in the comments. I just I'm curious. I'm not sure what I'd call my favorite, honestly. There's so many fun types of games out there. I like, I guess I like strategy games. Not necessarily strategy games, because I know that's its own genre. I mean, I haven't played many, like, real-time strategies. Not any traditional ones, at least. Why'd I put you there? But I'm sure I'd like them. But any game that requires a lot of thinking on the go are t typically games I like. Like I mentioned Pikmin a couple episodes ago. Um, and that's kind of that's kind of what you do there. You multitask, you you got to be smart on how you're fighting enemies. It's a it's a fun time. And I I recommend those games any day. You can really start with any of them. I'd say start with either the first or the third game. Cuz although I love the second game, it's pretty difficult and may not be a the best for a new player, you know. So. And maybe the fourth one will be a good entry point. I don't know. It's not out yet. It won't be out for another month at the time of recording this. A little, a little more than a month, but you know. It is what it is. You know, games like that, or turn-based RPGs like Pokemon or 
Chrono Trigger, Paper Mario. I like those a lot too, because it's a similar case of being strategic. But really, just about any type of game I can get down with. Like even first person shooters or classic fighting games. Things I don't have too much experience in, I still enjoy them when I do play them. Because they're fun. Games are fun. It's just a good time all around. So yeah, let me know let me know down below. What types of games you don't have to get specific if you don't want to. I mean you won't be judged and like let it, let it be known. You won't be judged for your opinions on games, because trust me, I do have some weird opinions on games that I'll probably share at some point in the future. If it ever comes up, you know. Just, uh, just let me know. You know, genres, consoles. Whatever, whatever, you know. Whatever you like. Just to get a gauge, you know. I mean, I'm basically going to be playing games that I like. In the future, I would like to experiment with games I've never played before. Just to, like a blind Let's Play. Just to see how I do for the first time. But we won't be doing anything like that for quite some time. Probably. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling in the future. Uh, I'm just gonna... I guess I'll just leave it here and keep, keep chatting it out. It's like I've got... Speaking of games... I plan on playing on this channel. I'm beginning to form a list of games I, w I would like to, you know, play for you guys. Just the uh, games that games that I feel like would be fun as a series. Maybe a few games people have probably never heard of that I really enjoy. As of right now, I'm locked to PC games, which I still have plenty of options. I do want to work towards being able to play. Oh, hold on. Let's let the let's let the magic shine for a moment. Yeah. Uh, I'm stuck at play. Let me finish the conversation before I explain what you just witnessed. I like playing games, and right now I can only play PC games, but I want to work towards eventually getting the equipment I need to play console games, which will really open up the the world to what I can play, you know? And I'm excited for when that day comes, but for right now, we're just going to be chill. Uh, the, the Doom Shroom, there's a crater, you can't really see it, there's notes covering it. But, um, if you place it in a certain spot, like right in the middle, it can pretty much wipe the entire screen. It can't, it's not a full screen wipe. You do have to make sure all the zombies are in it. It's, it's kind of like a full three columns of effect. It's incredible. Uh, I have a timer I'm looking at. I'm debating on whether or not I want to play this last level. Yeah, you know what? A little extra length. Let's finish out the world. So that next time we can get into the good stuff. Like, well, the good stuff, I say. We can get into something new. Some new some new avenues. Wow, a Doom Shroom right off the bat. So, we uh, this one's a bit more tricky because there's a lot of... A lot of one-use plants. I'm going to use an ice room just to give me some time. So chances are they're going to just keep giving them to me. Goodness. 
Oh, well, that's at least gonna get me somewhere. I, mean, I guess I'll use that hypnosis room there. And take care of the other one. I don't know why, why did I place you so far back? Look at this. I mean, I appreciate just basically handing me nukes. But, you know, nukes can only go so far. Well, these ones can. Well, you leave me with no choice. Really don't. Wow. Okay. There we go. I'll place you there. I mean, at least we're clearing out the graves as well. Yeah, this world gave us a lot of uh, what I like to call TSPPs, or temporary solutions to permanent problems. The temporary solution being getting rid of a huge amount of zombies, but the zombies are also the permanent problem, because we'll never fully get rid of zombies. Because there's always another level, you know? I actually got that saying from uh, a YouTuber I like to watch, and his let's play of this he did a long time ago, at this point, like probably over 10 years old. Which on YouTube is old. I mean, 10 years isn't old in the grand scheme of things, but on YouTube, you know, uh, that YouTuber being Nintendo Capri Sun plays a lot of games. I like it. I like his stuff. He's also part of a group channel that I like. I'm gonna use one of these to get get that out. Man, they're just giving me nothing. It's part of a group channel. I like, and I might reference them here and there. Uh, I'll try not to reference too many things. But they're called... But I definitely check them out. It's called The Runaway Guys. They play a lot of multiplayer games. It's... I like them, so... Let's just get rid of that. Man, I'm just getting nothing. But he's also a part of that, and their content is really fun. I don't know why I'm shouting them out. You know, just to give you something to watch. Because they they are really good. They also tend to do, like, a charity event every year. Which is fun. Uh, just give them a shout out because they're the ones who inspired me to do this let's play well not this let's play but do let let's playing in general because they're the first people I ever watched on YouTube so they're very they're not the biggest channel out there you know but they don't need to be and they're they're just special to me. They're near and dear to my heart. Because if it weren't for them, I wouldn't be inspired to do any of this. So it's just... It's just very impactful to my life. So... Thought I'd give him a shout out. I'd love to meet him someday. I've just, cause you know, sometimes they go to conventions. I've never been to a convention, for that matter. I'd love to go someday, cause they sound, they sound crazy. Stuff that I hear go down at conventions, like gaming conventions, you know, stuff like that. We are getting so unlucky with the offense. I've never, I've never played, because I've played this game several times over my life. Because sometimes, you know, you get a little bored and you're like, let's replay Plants vs. Zombies again. At least that's how I am. 
Mm. Well, that's not who I wanted. Um, but I've never seen a run where I have this few mushrooms. Normally I can at least by the end get it to where, like the last boss level, where we were like up to the front row and plants. Normally I can get somewhat closer to that, but this time I, I'm just, I'm just getting nothing but bombs. I mean, it's great. It gets the job done. Like here. Just, just nuke the screen. It's just that easy. But, man, I mean, now I'm starting to get stuff, but the level's over, because I'm about to use this. Wait for everything to get in line, and just pop it down, we win. And with that, that's the end of World 2. Four episodes, two worlds down. Trust me, things are about to get a lot slower, because the levels are about to get a lot longer now. But, we're going to have to see what the lily pad has to offer next time on Plants vs. Zombies. And remember, stay safe, you're always loved, you're awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>